everyone. I see G is for great is already here. Thanks for joining. Um, it's been a while. We took off last week, had some stuff going on, but we're all good now. So, so excited to be here with Alicia. Um, she, I met her at a farmer's market here in Vegas and she makes, I saw that she makes a bunch of different things. So she has um, flower, like uh, pressed flower art. I'm saying that wrong, but she can correct me. And then really pretty bracelets and earrings and jewelry. And then she also makes soaps. So I just thought like, this will be so cool to talk to her about how she, like about her creativity and how she kind of like decides what to make and all of that. Um, and I think we'll also be talking about art as a business tonight as well. Um, so I'm gonna bring her on. Um, okay, here we go. Hello, welcome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Um, is there anything I left out of your introduction that you want to make sure everyone knows about? Um, no, I think you covered it. And you were right. It's press flower arts. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, um, I will say we do have a POAP for tonight. So I usually say go into my Discord and, and ask request the poet, but you guys can just DM me. So if you're here um, live, DM me after the show and I will send you the POAP and it has a picture of Alicia with her bracelet, with a really cool bracelet that she made. So um, it's a fun one tonight. It's different than usual. Um, and then in terms of what we're creating, we're switching it up. Um, Alicia's gonna be making a bracelet or more depending on time and then yeah. i've just been working on this really detailed drawing all day long so i'm just going to work on those details and then we'll just chat while we work um oh i see marielle is here welcome hello celia thanks for joining um i think we're ready to turn the cameras around are you ready yeah i'm ready okay let's do it And I always forget how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so many steps. Okay, here we go. Oh, and then while we're doing that, I'm also going to get the music going from Joseph Capalbo, an amazing artist who made these songs just for the show. He pops in here sometimes. Um, <laughs> Ooh, I'm already so intrigued about what is going oh. on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit? Sure. Um, so this first bracelet I'm making, um, this is white nylon cording. And then I'm going to be making the design. It's my most popular bracelet design. It's sort of a double row um, thing that's, oh, I have it here. Actually, I'm going to be making this one. Ooh, okay. I was looking yeah. at those on your page and I was like, I yeah. really want to know how she makes those. Yeah, so I'm going to make that today or tonight. Um, and then if there's time, I'm also going to make this like lava stone single row bracelet. That's really popular as well. Yeah. Amazing. What do you, That's how fun. do you decide, um, how do you decide like what bracelet you're going to make? Is it like, oh, I'm running low on this one? Or do you just feel like making something in particular? How do you decide? Yeah, so it just depends. Um, if I know that there's a certain stone or something that's really popular, I tend to um, get more of that and make more of that. But then, um, yeah, or just if I find a stone that I really love that I didn't know about before, then I'll, um, yeah, I'll like get that and make stuff with that. I don't know, it just depends. Very cool. Um... Also, I'll explain this really quickly. So um, if anyone follows my other account, Miss Manda Daily, you'll know I've been doing Peachtober, um, which is so fun. And it's this Instagram artist, Furry Little Peach, and she is doing this like challenge where every day is a different prompt and it's all just like Halloween themed words. Um, and um, today was Tiger. So. I'm drawing this one and I think it's actually gonna go into my calendar. Nicole, hey, thank you for coming. Um, but yeah, and then, okay, so back to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to explain what's going on over here, but- Yeah, that's um, really cool. 
Oh, thank you. I've literally oh. been working on it all day. Let me see oh. how long. Um, oh, I guess it's only been an hour and 41 minutes, but I, I could have sworn it was long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely felt longer, but maybe I was just in the zone. Um, yeah. <laughs> So where do you get your beads from? Like you were saying, sometimes you'll like find a new one. Do you find it like online or? Yeah, I do a lot of um, online research. Sometimes I'll, I'll go crazy in Michael's or something. Or, <laughs> and yeah, so it just depends on, yeah. I, yeah, I find things everywhere, wherever I can and are able, so. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, I used to be super into, I was actually super into make like in middle and high school, I was super into making like little chokers for myself, you know? And oh, um, in, I went to San Francisco. Um, I think we, oh, my brother lived there at the time. So we were visiting him and mm -hmm. my mom had found this like super small, but like very well stocked bead store. And it oh. was literally like insane. Like you walk in and there's just, <laughs> There's just beads everywhere. Like, I, I, I could never imagine how many actual individual beads there were. But um, it's so cool. Like, you, you, if you're not like interested in beads, you don't realize like there's yeah. there's a lot to beads. <laughs> yeah, there's there's so many, and it's it can be a little overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, how long have you been making jewelry? Um, I mean, I kind of made jewelry like growing up. It was it was a big hobby of my mom, so I would like do that with her. Ah. Um, yeah, and so, but I it just kind of stopped. Um, and then and then yeah, and then I just kind of wanted to get back into it because I hadn't done it in a long time, and and I don't know, my I get into weird phases of wanting to do things, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so speaking of that, I remember yeah. when I first invited you uh, at the farmer's market to come on the show, you were saying, yeah. I don't know if you want me on the show because I'm maybe not going to be doing this much longer. Um, and I was yeah. like, well, that's perfect because <laughs> I love just exploring like art as a business and what that means for different people. Like, mm -hmm. I and I'm at the same spot right now. Like, I'm in the middle of interviewing for jobs because um, the full-time art just there were a lot of things, but that just wasn't what I wanted to do anymore. Um, also, yeah. it wasn't something I was super able to do, but it worked <laughs> out for the better. Um, so can you kind of explain like how you got into this, but then also the switch that you're going to be making? Yeah, so I got into this because of the pandemic. Um, I graduated during it, so there wasn't really much for me in terms of jobs, because mm. I graduated with a fashion design degree. Mm. And yeah, and that whole industry shut down. So right. I wasn't really able to find any work. And then, yeah, and then I just started making stuff. I did end up getting a job at like a little flower shop. Um, oh. And that's kind of how I started doing the pressed flowers. Ah. But yeah, and so, yeah, and it just kind of grew from that. Um, and yeah, and now I think, so I've been teaching myself how to code. Nice. Um, yeah. Girls who code. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I think that that's the kind of career switch I think I'm going to be making. Um, and then I'm just going to keep doing all this as like hobbies instead of yes. for money. So, yeah. Yeah. I, so my fiance was literally just asking me earlier like how do you how are you feeling about the business and and like all of that and i was just like i feel really good about it because now whenever i'm working on it it's because it's my choice and yeah. like i'm working on calendars and last year this time last year i was like so carefully figuring out you know the profit i would make and if it would be worth it for the expense and the time and like how much money i would make per hour and now I'm like, as long as I don't lose money, I'll just have fun with it. And like, I know yeah. people really liked them last year. So 
I'll make them. Whoever wants one can get one, but I'm not going to be like depending on it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So there's a lot like, and I'm also the, the person who, when I was doing this full time was like, just do it, just take the risk and blah, 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 which I agree <laughs> still, like I'm, I have yeah. no regrets, but I think it's just goes to show like there's positive, positives and negatives to, you know, anything in life, especially like when it comes to your art career or your creative mm -hmm. career. Um, so yeah, how are you feeling about it? Um, I would say it's just, it can be hard sometimes, like when you want to create something, but you're not sure how well it will do in terms of how much money you'll be able to make from it. And if it's yeah. the only thing that you're doing in terms like financially, then it can be hard to do what you want to do versus what you know will do well. Does that exactly. make sense? Yes, a hundred percent. So, so I tend to make things that I know are going to do well versus what I actually want to do. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's not really that fun anymore. Um, and so I want to like get back to doing this and it, and it be fun and me actually enjoying it <laughs> versus it kind of being like a chore. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, how do you think, or like, do you have any expectations like going into this next kind of chapter of your life of like how what you do and what you create might change? And sorry, tell me if that question makes sense or not. <laughs> well, can you repeat it one more time? <laughs> yes. So you're, so you're in the middle of teaching yourself to code, right? Yeah. So as you like, you know, finish that up and start doing what I'm assuming will be a full time job. Do you have? Yeah. But but you're still going to be creating. So do you have any like thoughts or expectations as to how your art might change, or um, your, what you create might change? It'll probably be more, more so things that maybe I like, but maybe no one else likes. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I, I think I'm, I'm just excited to be able to make art that fails. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Have you said that uh, <laughs> yes because that is i'm sorry i'm yelling but that is it's okay. so important um i'll let yeah. you explain like your thought behind that but um but oh my god i'm gonna go after so what do you what do you mean by that <laughs> like art that fails um just things that like like just trying different things and and doing things that i've never done before and and i don't know maybe they just won't um I don't know how to like like they won't look it. good <laughs> like yeah like it won't look good or it just like it just won't like i'll like could spend hours on something and it just won't work but i enjoyed myself all day so it was worth yeah. it yes a hundred percent sorry sorry keep going <laughs> no it's okay i think i think that's pretty much it i don't really know how else to explain it like i like being able to spend my time making things it's not necessarily what the end product is mm -hmm. And so, and so sort of running this business, it, it's more about the end product than it is the process because the end product is what I have to sell. Yes, yeah. I agree so much. And the thing is, it's so <laughs> counterintuitive because the, the minute that you're not worried about how it's going to look, a lot of times your art gets so much better. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But like, yeah, I think... I, that's exactly why like I've been feeling so good lately about this decision is because I like literally exactly that it's just your livelihood isn't dependent on your creativity anymore you're just mm -hmm. creating because it's what you love to do um yeah and and too what I've been telling everyone this whole time or like on my blog and um in some of my YouTube videos is like you have to in order to become a good artist or creator you have to make stuff that fails because mm -hmm. you can't like if you're going to create every day or even every week if you go into it wanting or expecting it to be perfect every time it's just not going to happen it's never going to happen yeah. mm -hmm. um so yeah i'm so happy you said that <laughs> <laughs> um we're getting some comments nicole said yay um i think that was earlier on <laughs> um <laughs> 
Celia said, we all go through phases and we need to embrace them. Couldn't agree more. Oh, yes. Um, okay. And then Marielle said, I'm enjoying this conversation. So relatable. Thank you for your honesty. Oh, I'm so oh. happy that <laughs> this can this conversation can be relatable because yeah. I feel like people really don't talk enough about kind of like, well, I don't know. I feel like, what am I trying to say? People don't talk a lot about their, I don't want to say failures, but like the things they've done that didn't work or, I mean, yeah. I, okay. But also I feel like neither of us, we're still doing it. Right. But like yeah. the venture, the venture to do it full time is at least going on hold. And, um, yeah, I feel like sometimes people will just like quietly disappear um, because they get discouraged and they're like, well, if I can't mm -hmm. do it full time, like, am I a failure, um, et cetera. But yeah, it's so much better to just be open and be like, yeah, I am getting a full time job, but every minute I'm not working on my job, I'll be creating. So yeah, definitely. Um, so when you first decided that you were going to, well, how did it, how did it work that like with compute, with, um, coding, were you like, I need to find a job that will pay me money, no matter <laughs> how creative <laughs> I will, like, no matter what, you know, a salary and mm -hmm. whatever. Um, or was it, and so you, and then you thought, okay, I'll do coding or was it like, I've always loved coding. So I'll just kind of pick that up and actually work on it. Yeah, well, I was always interested in it. Um, and then in my, when I was studying fashion, there was like the tiniest unit in one of my classes where we did a tiny bit of coding. And it was really interesting, but I didn't have time to really do more with that. Um, and so it was always kind of in the back of my mind. And then also, um sort of just the tech industry and everything like it kind of um did okay during the pandemic i think right yeah and so just being in an industry where i can kind of know that like you have job things security. like that, yeah there's more job security and, and yeah and i mean i'm enjoying it so far i definitely out of my element a little bit but <laughs> i'm like getting there with it so Definitely. That's awesome. I love that. And I love that you're teaching yourself too. That's so awesome. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, Nadine said, and you never know what will fail or be a success. Yeah, you have to try. Yeah, yeah. You gotta for go sure. for it. This is so mm -hmm. nice because I've been getting interviewed a lot lately for jobs. And now I'm finally oh, yeah. an interviewer again. And <laughs> I really like it better, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be me soon. And I'm really nervous about that. Yeah, I, well, you, you just got to do the reps, you know, you just got to like, like some, like, yeah, even if you apply to jobs that like you're not 100% interested in, like first yeah. to just get the wiggles out um, and just get feedback. And then you might even find, okay, I actually am interested in this, but like, it's just good to not go in, not go into like the big one first. Yeah, that's true. Um, also, I've been like living and breathing resumes and cover letters and all of that. So oh, God. DM me later <laughs> if you need any help. <laughs> okay, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about the, you make soap too, right? Oh yes, I do. How did that, like, what did you start making first? What inspired you to also make soap? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, like I said before, I did the flower shop. So that's like what started the flower mm -hmm. art. And then, yeah, and then the jewelry was just something that I just randomly wanted to do. Like I get in random moods and want to do something mm -hmm different or I don't know and so the jewelry happened <laughs> mm -hmm. and then the soap um, was actually something that my um, mom had always wanted to learn um, and she wasn't really sure how to go about it so we kind of it kind of became like a hobby that we did together to Aww. like spend more time together 
I know it's so cute. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and yeah, and, and we were making so much, like way, way too much. And I had this business and we were like, why not just put it, sell it on there and yeah. see how it does. And, and yeah, and everything just kind of happened that way. And it all kind of grew and it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, what's, do you have a most popular product between the flower art, the um, soaps and then the bracelets and jewelry? Um, I would probably say my bracelets are actually the most popular um, in terms of just like how often I sell them. Um, the bath and body and everything, it can be a little hard because the, the industry is a little bit, it's getting a little saturated now. So there's a lot of different mm. soap makers and stuff. Right. Um, and so that can be a little hard to get people to buy mine. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the flower art, like those are pretty popular. Um, but they're not necessarily things that people like need for their homes or anything. They're not so know. like functional. Yeah, I get, but I guess jewelry is not really <laughs> functional. <either>. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, but the flower art does really well. Um, but yeah, like again, like certain styles do better than others, and the style that I prefer doesn't do as well as the mm. style that other that customers yes. prefer. So that can be hard too. Yeah. Oh, um, Nikki is a fellow woman artist and coder, so maybe you guys should oh. talk. <laughs> yeah. Um, she was on the show a couple weeks ago. She's awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll I'll make a little. I do. <laughs> I've already done this to her one. I've like she's been <laughs> in one of the people. She's been actually it was the other way. I thought of somebody else that I wanted to connect her with. So then I made a little group chat. So I'll probably do the same thing with you two after. Okay. Um, hopefully that's okay with both of you. Um, <laughs> um, amazing. Oh, she said would love that. Okay, perfect. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um, I know a lot of you in the audience were saying you really like the conversation and it's relatable. If you guys have any questions for me or Ellie, make sure you send them in. Or sorry, Alicia, your your oh, um it's handle fine. <laughs> is Ellie, so I it, it was yeah. in my head. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah, make sure you send them in so we can answer them. Otherwise, I'll just keep asking my questions, which I'm also happy to do. Um <laughs> And now I forgot my question. Um, oh, I was gonna ask, can you kind of talk us through what's going on with the bracelet right now? Oh, sure. <laughs> um, so I just finished making the actual like thing. <laughs> um, and so for the double row, I do this kind of diagonal thing to kind of keep everything in place. And then I took it off of my little makeshift board um, <laughs> And now I'm creating this little piece here so that I, oh. so it can be adjustable. Yeah. And then, so I'm going to cut off these end pieces and then um, finish them with fire and then um, add like the finishing beads to the end. And then, yeah, and then it'll be pretty much done. Um, Very cool. And then I can, yeah. And then I can go on to the lava stone one. Awesome. If anyone wants to, is interested, happens to be interested in buying one, of these or another bracelet, where can they go? Oh yeah, so um, you can go to my link tree. <laughs> um, on there, I have my Etsy, which has the soap and the pressed flowers. And then I have a separate jewelry website where I sell all my jewelry. Um, and this one is on there, it's called Astra. And then this lava stone one is called Talia. So yeah, and then I have other designs on there too that you can definitely check out. I'm going to pull up your Instagram here so I can show. Okay. Um, so it's, ugh, I hate this thing. Ugh, it's not going to work. <laughs> um, it's Ellie, E-L-L-I-E -L -L -E underscore yeah. Steven underscore. And that's where you can get your link tree. Or it looks like it's just 
Linktree slash Ellie Steven. So that's another yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll, I'll try to add this. I might, or I probably have it in the description. I made the description last week when I thought we were having this before everything happened, but, um, so <laughs> I should have the, I should have her handle in there for everyone to find. So are you still going to be doing the farmer's markets? Oh, so about those. Um, no, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I like it. sorry, go. Um, it's okay. Um, I, um, actually, I'm going to be ending there early. I think it's going to be this month is my last month, actually. Um, um is there a particular yeah. reason why? Um, it was just like things with like the business license renewal and all that. And it uh, ended up just being, yeah. um, I didn't want to do a whole nother six months. So, right. yeah. But that's the choice you get to make when you, you yeah. know, you've got something bigger coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to have to do that, those job interviews and resumes and all that very soon. And I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. Let's set up a meeting and I'll help you. Okay. If I yeah. can. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Anything to help you out. <laughs> um, not that I'm the expert, but I will give my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, do you, so as you're exploring your art and doing the things that you want to do, do you think you'll like try any other mediums like drawing, painting, like photography, writing, anything like that? Yeah, so I used to do a lot of um, painting and drawing. Um, I'll probably go back into fashion illustration. Like, I definitely miss doing that. Um, and then, I don't know, there's like different types of like paint and other things that I, I've never tried before and I would really love to. <gasps> like what? Like, I've actually, I've never used gouache. And I feel yeah, like okay. I, I should. I, I, yeah. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Keep <okay>. going. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, I've never used oil. Like I've only ever done like acrylic and watercolor. Um, yeah, and then also I used to be really into photography when I was in high school. So I might get back into that. That would be really cool. I'm so then, excited for you. Sorry, keep me going. Me too. It's okay. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then also like I've been into the idea of filmmaking recently. Ooh. So I think that'd be really cool. Like, like, like what that. kinds of film films? Um, like I have a friend who's really into horror. Ooh, okay. So maybe something like that. I'm not sure yet. Um, just anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so excited to see what you create in this next, in these coming months. Yeah. I'm really excited. Um, speaking of horror films, I, in high school, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was in high school. I did this thing called the 20 or 48 hour film festival, I think, oh. or maybe, yeah, I think it was only 48 or maybe 72. I can't remember, but it was not a lot of time to make a movie and <laughs> there's like different rules. So it was like, it's a traveling kind of contest. And so it came to Vegas and a couple friends from school were like, let's do it. I was like, okay, sure. I don't have anything to do. Um, <laughs> I've never acted, never like, well, I mean, I went through a phase, like when I was way younger, I wanted to be like an actress, but oh, never, you know, never was a good actress. Um, <laughs> um, but I was just like, sure, like you guys need someone. I'll, I'll do it. So, um, you go to this place, like this like meeting place, and then they tell you the rules like right, and then and then you have to like run and start making the film. So it was um you and then you all get different genres. So we got horror. Um, and then there were like different words that you had to incorporate into it that everyone had to incorporate in. And I think like one of them was like an heirloom, as it like you had to incorporate an heirloom. So we did like a ring and pretended that it was like the 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 villains like grandma's ring or something like that um <laughs> yeah. and then um 
there was like certain lines you had to incorporate in and then you literally had to have the whole movie done within 48 hours and then it was so cool because they did like um uh like they rented out a movie theater and played all of them um and then like gave awards and stuff but um it was cool because there were some like real filmmakers there like we were just a bunch of high schoolers but there were also like <laughs> a bunch of adults doing it because it was like they're trying to make it big and stuff um so it was, it was fun it was cool that sounds fun <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, Celia said, I love acting. I played, okay, you could find this video if you've scrolled really far. <laughs> Was getting a phone call. You could find the video if you scrolled really far on my Facebook, like really far. Um, <laughs> I played this like bratty teenager who was just like super angsty and <laughs> um, just rude and it was, it was a fun, fun role. Also kind of me as a teenager. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now I've been rambling about me, but this is, I gotta ask you questions. So, um, <laughs> if you had all the money in the world, what would you do with your creative career? Oh, what a question. Um, <laughs> you just never had to worry about making money. Or working like a full-time job or anything. Yeah. I mean, I, th I would love to like, I don't know, like travel around the world and see what other people make in different countries and like learn how to do things I've never even heard of before. <laughs> Um, I don't know though, I'm, I'd probably have a whole separate house of just all art supplies. Aww, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm that's sorry a, if that's a terrible answer. <laughs> no, that's really not, like, I love the idea, I love that you're like, I just want to see what everyone else makes, like, that's such and, a like, good, learn and, yeah. yeah, it's, it's such a good, um, like it'd be cool to travel the world right but it would be cooler to travel the world with that kind of goal in mind um mm. where you can like you would just act really be like engaging in the community that you're in and all yeah. that that sounds awesome thanks <laughs> Ocelia said, those are the best types of roles. Um, oh, like a, like a bratty teenage girl? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I thought okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does sound like a fun role to play. <laughs> it was, it definitely was, but I yeah. did not do a good job with it. We'll just say that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you did. No, I didn't, but it's okay. <laughs> Not my thing. <laughs> I was making bad art. <laughs> what would you say is your mission with your art business? If you have one, it's okay. The mission? Yeah. Um, I think it, it basically just started with just making things that hopefully make people happy. I don't know. Yeah, no, it that's just, an amazing answer. Yeah, yeah, because it, yeah, because it started with the flowers, and I know flowers can bring a lot of joy to people, and so to be able to preserve them, and then they kind of last um, a whole lifetime. I just it felt like really cool and just. I don't know. I like making people happy. So. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. When you first started out, how did you find like customers? Um, oh, I started on Etsy. 
So it was kind of like that. And then, and then I started doing farmer's markets. And so, yeah, and I just started, I don't know, connecting with people that way. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm not great at it though. <laughs> just cause I am quite like a quiet, shy person. So it can <laughs> be a little difficult sometimes. Um, but yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. Um, and sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, well, I was just gonna say, like, it is that's another thing people don't always talk about is how like you have to do every single part of your business. Um mm -hmm. the, even the ones that you really don't like or or that you're just not as good at. Um Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Celia said, is there any particular place you would like to travel to? That's a very good question. That is a good question. Um, I haven't really been to Asia. I'm half Korean, so I would love to go to Korea and then all over Asia. Um, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. I could see family. I can learn yeah. art. I can do all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hope you get to do that sooner rather than later. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I really want to go to Australia and New Zealand. That would be so cool. Yeah. I've also, I mean, I know this can't be true, like, 100%, but I've never met an Australian person that I didn't absolutely love. <laughs> oh, I I don't think I've ever met an Australian person. Really? Oh, yeah. you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just really, really sweet? Um, what is it? I just, yeah, there's, I mean, again, I don't want to like classify a whole culture or anything, but the ones, <laughs> the Australian people that I have met are really, really nice and just super like laid back and just like up for anything. Um, but also like, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to, yeah, I don't know. And just really like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Celia said, what I don't like about Australia are the giant spiders. Yeah, that's really fair. Oh, that's true. And the snakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. And all there's like a ton of different, they have like the craziest bugs ever I've heard. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Um, what was I going to say? My brain has been all over the place lately. <laughs> um so normally we would wrap up in about five minutes does that sound okay good okay perfect yeah just like to give a little warning because sometimes people get taken by surprise mm -hmm. and then they start stressing but it really you don't have to fit i mean you already finished one so you're Way ahead. I did, yeah. anyway. <laughs> um, Celia, where would you like to travel? What is one thing that you wish? Um, this one's back to you, Alicia. What oh, is one okay. thing that you wish you had known before starting your art, your business? Um, I'm trying to think, um, I probably, I think I wish I would have known how difficult it would be to do all the social media stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I didn't think it was going to be that difficult because it was something I do already, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, but granted, I'm, I'm, also, I'm also not that good at it, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's really difficult to be super consistent on it. And um, I kind of just, um, like, kind of given up on it. <laughs> I have to, in some ways, like I've given up on trying to crack the code 
and and trying yeah. to get engagement and all that. And I really don't like how people say you have to post every single day or like you have to post multiple times a day because yeah. then it's impossible, at least for me, it's impossible to do that and still be posting quality content. Um, mm -hmm. And if everybody is just finding random things to post every single day, then the whole social media is going to just be filled with junk, which happens sometimes. And yeah. then if you're saying you want to get in, that's how you get engagement. Well, how do you get engagement on content? That's just not good. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I've, it's been really hard journey for me too. Um, but I've tried to just say like, I'm just going to post what I want to share when I feel like I have something to share. Um, and that, that hasn't been quite as often, but that's why I like doing this show because it's kind of like a really good time to check in with everyone, actually be yeah. having real conversations and mm -hmm. all that. Sorry, my phone is just... <laughs> deciding to get all the calls tonight and none of them i was telling alicia before uh this is to the audience um that tim and i are in the process of moving we don't officially have a place yet but we have a place that we are absolutely obsessed with and we applied and we're just waiting to hear back about the application and the person we're waiting to hear from said he will call us or text us or I don't know how he'll contact us. He said he'll give us an answer tonight. So we don't know what time that is or what the answer is going to be. And we've just been going crazy. So I had told her if I get a phone call from him, I'm taking it and then I'll come back. But um, that hasn't happened yet. So we're all good. Um, oh, we got some some answers. So Celia said, super, super cliche, but I want to go to Italy. I love the food, the language and the amazing views. I love it. And oh <laughs> G is for great said, I want to go there too. Celia said, let's go G family trip. G is for great <laughs> sent some celebratory um, emojis. And then Celia said, what is your favorite stone? Oh, my favorite stone? Yes. Um, I so many i would probably say this one is a mazanite it's really pretty it's wait like which one is it colors. oh um, all i think of them. it's called a mazanite very cool yeah and then i also love um radonite that's one of my favorites is there like a meaning behind or like a does I, it have... I don't know <laughs> <laughs> you just like the the um how they look and feel yeah yeah i'm yeah i'm not i don't really know too much about stone meanings or anything um but i just think they're pretty very yeah well that's that's something that's really important too <laughs> <laughs> i also know nothing about stone meanings but i'm always interested when i'm like looking at looking at other people's creations and sometimes it's like these stones i they're like using the stones specifically for the purpose behind them mm -hmm. or whatever yeah and it's always interesting to just hear them like list off all the things that it can help with yeah um yeah oh um well i lost track of time are you ready to turn the cameras oh. back around oh yes perfect i'm just adding in some clouds but okay actually i just realized just to share, I this is for myself, but I'm gonna um, make it dark outside. So I'm gonna like play with the lighting a bit, but um, I'll post the finished one probably tonight. Okay. So, um, wait one second. Okay. Hello. Um, hi. Um, okay, so I wanna make sure that okay i'm gonna no i can't send can i send a message oh post comment i'm gonna put your instagram handle in here just to make okay. sure everyone can find you um and in the meantime can you share like if you have any well i know you're busy now with
coding, but if you have like anything that you have coming up or re remind us all where we can find you um, and all of that. I'll say it now. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I, sorry. Did, I did not explain that well. Um, so yeah, you can find me on Instagram at Ellie underscore Steven underscore. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, I, I have my link tree on there. You can find my jewelry on the jewelry website, all the other stuff on Etsy. I also do um, a farmer's market in downtown Summerlin Mall every Saturday, but this month's my last month. So definitely come check me out this month before I leave. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's everything. Perfect. Um, one more time, if you want the um, POAP for tonight with Alicia's art or Alicia, a picture of Alicia's bracelet, um, send me a DM either. You can go into the Discord, send a message or send me a DM or uh, call, call me if you have my phone number, whatever. I'll just tell me you are here and I will send it to you. Um, and oh, there was something else I was going to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I thank you, El Alicia, so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And I will see you all next week. And have a great thank week, you. Alicia. Bye. You too. Bye.